Howdy y'all. This is Proverbs 19 in the New Messianic Version for September 19, 2023. Better the poor that walks in his integrity than perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also the soul without knowledge, not good, and he that hastes with feet sins. The foolish man perverts his way, and his heart frets against the Lord Jehovah. Wealth makes many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and that speaks lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man a friend to him that gives gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursues with words they are wanting. He that gets wisdom loves his own soul, and he that keeps understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and speaks lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man defers his anger, and his glory to pass over transgression. The king's wrath as the roaring of a lion, but his favor as dew upon the grass. A foolish son, the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife, a continual dropping. House and riches, the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife from the Lord Jehovah. Slothfulness cast into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keeps the commandment keeps his own soul, but he that despises his ways shall die. He that has pity upon the poor lends unto the Lord Jehovah, and that which he has given will we pay him again. Chasten your son while there is hope, and let not your soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if you deliver, yet you must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that you may be wise in your latter end. Many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of the Lord Jehovah that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord Jehovah to life, and shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hides his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and will prove one that has understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wastes his father and chased away his mother is a son that causes shame and brings reproach. Cease, my son, to hear instruction to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorns judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of fools. <clears throat> trying to use the daylight just got home from a delivery time to cook I think it's going to be egg roll in a bowl let's see yeah better to be poor better to look over stuff I just the delivery I just had to do was with the owner of the establishment we've had serious friction before undeservably so nonetheless better to just act as professionals keep my mouth shut and um, overlook the transgression like it says right he that hates with his feet sins meaning do your own research consider it get counsel from friends sleep on it most importantly Pray about it. The Lord will show you the right way. That's it. The Lord will show you the right way. Sometimes the right way is a far way off. Or it's going to be a long road. And we get impatient. And we think, did we really hear that? You'll know if you're in your prayers. I do hope that this is true. That false witnesses will not go unpunished and people that speak lies will not escape because we're not supposed to take vengeance or do anything about it so let the Lord 
take care of it. And three times, I think, it says about the poor people are hated. People go far from them. Nobody wants to help them. So that's our job, right? That's our job to be helping them. Because when their brothers and their friends and the neighbors won't help them, they still need help. Moreover, or also, because it's not the important part, but it does say that the Lord will repay you for what you give to the poor and the needy. But Jesus did say, don't make a show of it. And don't let your light, your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give it secret. Your Father will reward you. So consider your motives. And consider your method. Right? When you do things. Discretion of a man defers his anger and his glory to pass over transgression. I both had to demonstrate that this morning and explain that to the oldest because he was having a meltdown over handwriting because he wants everything to be perfect and makes it take forever. And it's like, but you're, you're all worked up and you're not listening to me. Let's all quiet down. Right? And the king's wrath Somebody who's in power over you, you provoke that. It's like a roaring lion. You're going to suffer. But it's favor. Mm, it's pleasant. It's like dew on the grass, right? It refreshes. I'm watching a war over a soccer ball on the driveway, but it's a busy road behind me. So, oh, children, make me nuts. A foolish son is the calamity of his father and the contentions of a wife are continual dropping. Dudes' lives are hard. Ladies' lives are hard. Lots of kids' lives are hard. But for certain, a guy that's shepherding his family, you know, you don't want a contentious wife. You don't want arrogant or foolish sons. You don't want problems. So discipline now, you know. Don't worry about the crying. Make... cause an accident with a soccer ball. I'm going to have to get involved. I need a gate. I need a gate. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would solve the problem. But I live on a country country highway, so fast moving. i got to place the gate correctly so that I can get in and out. And, um, yeah, I think it's needed. It's one of those house upgrades, but we've been trying to decide. Keep the house. Something else. I digress. House and riches are an inheritance of fathers. And a prudent wife is from the Lord. My wife gets frustrated with me. I'll lead with that and stay in. I get frustrated with my wife. Because Lord knows I'll probably frustrate her more. But. I would say she's a prudent wife. She's from the Lord. Right? And I'm trying to build wealth and property and assets so that I have something you know, houses and riches to give to my kiddos. We also had a big, big talk today about hustling. Not hustle culture, but truly, your limits are going to be defined by your ability to define the direction you're going to and your ability to work towards that goal every day. Rain or shine, sore or not, whatever, you know. This could be an accident. <sighs> Watching one of them stand up on something that's wobbling around. Let's see if the oldest realizes what happens and, and grabs him. Oh, he sat back down. Perfect. Have pity on the poor. Oh, oh, it was about hustling, right? Don't be slothful. You can have pretty much anything you want in life, but you're going to have to work really hard for it. So, chastening my son while there's hope, not letting his soul spare for crying. Much more important to have him be successful in life, and even more important to have all three of them be with me in heaven one day than it is to be concerned with temporary upsetness and crying. I was about to be crying because everybody's about to be hurt. I'm standing up in a wagon. It's another one of those, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Hurt yourself. I told you not to do that. It's the way of the world, right? Nothing new under the sun again. 
There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. We can plot our way. How it falls is on the Lord. And we need to accept that and welcome that. The fear of the Lord, Jehovah, tends to life. And he that has it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Again, slothful man. We, we don't want the slothful dudes. We don't want people that burn out like, oh, hustle culture all the time. But, like, there's merit in that. You know, my dad worked two, three, sometimes odd jobs as well. While I was growing up, my mom taught. She had little hustles. I remember her and my grandmother making earrings and all kinds of stuff and selling them. So, you do what you can to get your family in the position it needs to be in. You know, Lord willing. Oh, I love my kids, but watching this, watching three little boys go out it is nerve-wracking at times. And I'm pretty easygoing and not a helicopter parent. My wife would be losing her little mind right now. Not doing much, but it's what they're doing, how they're doing it with this wagon. And it's like, one of them just fell on his butt. He might have cracked his head. <sighs> Silly boys. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware. Reprove one that has understanding, and he will understand knowledge. Look, look, it's all right to hang out with, I don't want to say less intelligent people. That sounds judgy, right? But, I mean, there's a spectrum of intelligence. We all sit on it somewhere. And, um... It's not the intelligent level, it's the posture, it's the attitude. If they're a scorner, if they're a mocker, then um, that's not somebody you want in your company. If they're simple, then at least when you correct them, they will learn. I'm going to have to sign off and intervene. leaning on something that's clearly going to break. The youngest doesn't have enough sense to understand it. And the oldest is having fun with the other. Point is, watch the company you keep, right? It's okay. Like, if there are people that are responsive to correction, those are the people that, yeah, you want to hang out with. A mocker, a scorner, a fool that just wants to hear themselves talk, it is counterproductive for you to waste time on them. With them. Your time, your breath. Say what the Lord wants you to say to them and be sensitive. Pray about them before you talk with them. Mm. Some of the things I have to say, I'm constantly. It's like, I'll say it all the time. And he that wastes his father, chase away his mother. It's causes shame and brings reproach yeah for sure take care of your parents in their old age take care of your parents in their young age just take care of your parents honor them <sighs> judgments are prepared I'm skipping several but Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Jesus preached so much about hell. And it's like, we're going to, I got like one minute left. So it's like, oh, we're going to withhold this sermon about choosing to go to hell versus loving God, sending people to hell. But for certain, we know that there are standards on things, Right. You run a race. Is there a first place? Is there a winner? Is there a worst time? You don't have to be a loser. Is there a last place? You know what I'm saying? On a test, is there a standard? On exams, on tolerance in machines, are there standards? Yeah. You got to meet the standard. Otherwise, you're rejected. So we can't do it in our own works. But we sure better be striving towards it in our prayer life and our faith and our study and the way that we conduct ourselves, taking care of the poor and the sick 
and whoever else needs us because that's who we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be the body of Christ in the real world now that his body's departed this world. So we got to do the things he would have done. Think about that. Go with God. Be blessed. Thanks to everybody that's been watching these videos. I'm really blessed by it. Keep me in your prayers. I keep you in mine.